Well, welcome to uh, Player Resource Inspiration Channel. And today we're going to make a willow boat. And for that you'll need willow, masking tape and a pair of garden shears. Well, for the beginning of the boat, what I'm going to use is two pieces of willow. And willow itself has a natural curve in it. So when you put two pieces of willow together, it almost makes like a boat shape on its own. Um, now that'll get me going, but what I'm going to do is also cut some willow uh, to interspace in between the shape. And that just gives a lot of rigidity and strength to it. And that'll keep the base of the shape of the boat that I'm going to make. And here we have, this is the base of the boat finished. Now we have the, the base of the boat here. What I'm going to do now is actually just build the sides. So you're building up from the base all the time. So what I'm going to do is use the snippers and I'm going to cut the lengths off the, the thick end of the willow. Now this is wobbly here. As soon as I put one more stick there, that's going to make a really rigid, strong support. I can start building from here and moving along. And uh, this will, uh, there's an immense amount of strength already. Now I'll take some more sticks. And the points that I have in the boat here, I'm going to use these ribs and just add sticks to them. So I think you can see if I start putting sticks along here, it starts to form the curve of the boat and the depth of it. I'm going to crisscross these two and put them there. And that means I can attach it here, gives a good strong point and there and there. So bit by bit, this is just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. So at this stage, basically, I've, I've strengthened up all the, the wobbly bits of the boat and I've got the height reasonably well. What I'm going to now do is uh, use a long, another length, two lengths of willow and complete the a kind of mirror image of the base of it now. And now the flexibility of willow in itself comes into its own because I don't have to measure anything. I'm simply going to use the natural flexibility of the willow and join it to the points of these uh, ribs that are sticking up and that will make the top of the boat. What I'm going to do now is simply bridge the gap between here to make the deck. And again, to measure it, you just uh, anchor one point. This is a good way of actually measuring something. If you get your normal tape again, and stick it on there, just let that fall over and where it seems to join, just cut. Where it touches, just cut and that will really strengthen up. Well now I've established the basic uh, shape of the boat, which is a, like a small canoe. I'm going to add either end of the boat. And for that, I'm going, you'll see that I'll be bending the willow and it forms these fantastic curved shapes. I'm going to join them and add to the base of this boat. Now at this point, I'm going to get another piece. Again, the same process, just bend it a little and I'll add it to the top of the boat. And I'm going to bring these together and that starts to make the beginning of a curved element. This is just like a big banana shape at the moment. If I take a little piece of uh, willow, it's like a little ladder actually I'm making here. But what I want to do is from a fat place here is move down in little increments and put some little structures in there. And on the other side of the boat now, same process again as I did up at the tail. I'm going to make this one much more of a curve. So I'm just increasing the bend and the cane a little bit and stick these pieces on at the points here. So the kind of flow continues and along the boat and it'll join onto the rest. So it's like a big seamless. It looks as if it's a one piece. Well, here's the finished boat here. I made a willow and masking tape. And uh, you can, of course, cover this and add loads of color with tissue and uh, cling film. And all the materials that I've used here today can be found at Play Resource.